So, hello everyone. I'm really excited to be here. And thank you organizers for organizing such a beautiful event here. Uh, before that, I have two things to keep reminding myself to keep it concise. concise. And next, to not run out of breath because I always do that. So, I'm Rupa, front end engineer working with Freshwork from Chennai. And a fun fact about me I love to design, but I have no idea how to use any of the design tools here. So, with so much delay, I'm going to tell you this is a topic that I'm going to talk about today atomic design using view. So, some people might know about it, some people would be like, what the hell is that? But in next 20 minutes, we'll, I'll be walking you throughout the entire approach of atomic design and get your head strapped around it. So, this is what we are going to talk today. Atomic design and view. This is the entire thing that would be covered today. So, this is some fun gif before getting into technical terms. This is how I felt when I came up with the topic. This is how when I felt when I was preparing for it. And this is how I am now. So yes, atomic design. Uh, I have one pretty saying of atomic design by the father of atomic design, Brad Frost. He said that as the craft of web design evolves, we are recognizing the need to develop thoughtful design systems rather than creating simple collection of web pages. What he means is that creating a design system is a key concept of building a powerful web application. So he came up with a very small idea of atomic design methodology where you break the entire application, I mean the complex UI into small chunks into the last I mean smallest compound. So he has brought in the chemistry into the web app, I mean web systems. Where in chemistry we have this all these terminologies, atoms, molecules, organisms, not templates and pages. So what is atoms? What are atoms? Atoms are like the basic HTML elements, say a button or a P tag, a label, input, everything, which cannot be broken down. I mean, those basic HTML tags are atoms. What are molecules? When these atoms combine together, they form molecules. So, organisms the other way. This is this the chemistry terminology, but this is how he has implemented it into the web system for building design system and all. The templates and pages is where the chemistry, you know, it breaks out and comes into the web technology term. So, templates are just the layout. And I'm just going to show everything uh, visually, but just I want to run you through all these terms. And pages are the specific instances of templates. So let me show you an example. So it's basically a GIF. Uh, okay, I have to catch up with it. Just give me a second. So these are the atoms, label, input, and this forms the molecule. These molecules together from the organisms and this is the template and this is the page. If you could just see down atoms, molecule, the organisms are like molecules combined together, templates and pages. Okay, this might sound weird at this point of time, but while breaking down a design system or a web complex web application, it would be really easy if you could break the components this way and uh, very easy to code also. So that's with the atomic design part. It's just an overview of what atomic design is. View, about view, we all love view. And the one concept or ideology of view that impressed me to combine it with atomic design is the separation of concerns, concerns is not equal to the separation of file type. In sense, the dot view file that I'm talking about. You have everything, the script, you have the style, you have the template, everything in a single file. You don't need to go with dot js file, dot css file, etc. So that was really impressive with view that admires me big time. So this is how it looks. It's like it's like an atom. It's like a, it's atomic. So I just want to combine this with the atomic design methodology, which is basically designer's concept. They built design systems using like that. So we're just going to mix this up. Uh, I know this is how you feel now. We're just going to mix this up and see how it turns out to be. Okay, this is what we are going to do today. And this. So, yeah, we are going to break down the Airbnb page 
and we are going to build it up with the components using Vue. This is the this is pretty much it we are we are going to do today. So we all know how the Airbnb page looks now. So this is how it looks, right? So your Airbnb looks this way, like a lot of components and stuff. But when we try to rebuild this, mock this entire application, we will be trying to break it down into components. I am just going to show you an easy way of doing that. So analyze the home page. But before that, we are going to do it using two methodologies. First, we are going to break down the entire UI of Airbnb by starting small and work all the way up and when building we do the exact opposite okay so while breaking the ui we are going to just break all the big chunks take it out and we'll identify the molecules then we'll go to the atoms while building we do the exact opposite atoms molecules organisms let me show you how so this is the airbnb home page right we saw this one so the distinct section in the page is what you call organisms say the header the form, uh, some right, some sticky content. These are the distinct sections that you see when you see the page. So that is what defines the organisms. What are the molecules? I mean, the next level down. In the organisms, you see a set over there and here. That group of uh, atoms together, I mean, group of something together is what molecules. And in the molecules, if you see, Individual links is called the atoms because that A tag cannot be broken down any further. So that's what we call atoms. So when you just see visually see the page, you'll be identifying, okay, I have three organisms, I have that is molecule, and in this section, in this form, this button tag, the green one, identifies that it's an atom. The blue one is a molecule because it is composed of atoms, say a label and a input box. So this is how so you get the basic idea of how we are splitting, right? The red one, organisms, the blue one, the molecules, and the green one refers to the atoms. So just re uh, remember that atoms are like the last, lastest of the last because you cannot break it any further. And the uh, molecules, there's one interesting idea about molecules is that what Brad Frost suggested. In an application, if you see a repetition of a component, say a repetition of something, a listing, then you call that a molecule as well. So we saw listings, the place is listing. So this whole section, we call it as an organism, the pa uh, place is listing, component or whatever. And inside that you have repetition of components that, are co that is called the molecules. And inside the molecules, you can easily split them into atoms because that's an image tag, that is a text component which has P, P or something, P tag. So this is how we are going to split the entire thing. Now we are going to just take that, uh, am, I, am I going really fast? Are you able to catch up with me? Oh, I'm going really fast. That's fine. So, I'm going to further break down that component to this. So, it's an image tag, an atom, P tag, an atom, again, uh, H1 tag, an atom, P tag, P tag, you have span, that's it. So, this is how we break the entire page. Initially, we saw the Airbnb, like a huge application. But while you break it down in the atomic design methodology, it is very easy to build it up again. So, how does it look with the view now? That's what I'm going to show you. So, this is the entire components that I've used. It's pretty much very simple. You start with creating two fold, three folders, atoms, molecules, organisms. The pages are the views, you know, normally we use uh, pages inside the views folder. It's the same, it doesn't change. This, these three are the important thing. When, when you started breaking down, you can easily identify that these are the things that needed, you know, app input, button, the calendar is the date one that it shows. So but while you split it into this way and build it, it would be really easy for you to break down any UI or any design system and compose beautiful web applications. So we have been using atomic design always. It's not just I'm just introducing a new term, terminology. The modular design system or the modular way of rebuilding is, is what they call atomic design. 
but I've just given it a name and meaning saying that it's atomic design methodology. That's it. So this is the entire thing. You have any doubts in this one? Like, yeah. So how do you differentiate between, so uh, some, even if it's a button, yeah. that can also become a molecule because it's a, it has a text and a background there. Correct. So how do you differentiate and in case of like differentiating between molecules and organisms we are seeing, there was a card which was repeating, so you made it into a molecule. Correct. But that can also be called an organism because that has a lot of molecules inside it. Correct. So how do you differentiate? Yes. So this is again a methodology that I follow to break it down. You have your own, this, this concept is same. You're going to break it down into atoms, organisms and molecules. You can do it in your own way. I can do it in mine. But the point is that in the atoms, you, you have the H, basic HTML tags, the compo compound, I mean, that cannot be broken down any further. So while, while even if we both are in a project, you're de developing an application and I come see the application, it would be really easy for me to find out that, okay, these are the basic atoms and organisms and structure. The structure doesn't say, change. Basically, we have a components folder. We have everything inside that. Uh, I don't know, maybe nav, comp, I don't know. There may be different folders, but we follow a different pattern everywhere. But by, while we follow the same thing, even, you know, you your organism definition might be different, mine might be different. But the folders, I can easily understand. Okay, this is because this is a distinct section. This is because this is separation. So that's what. So we all have different ideas, but it has got one definition. Yeah. So... It's just how I used Vue to have this because your style script, it's just the nav bar at the right section, the molecule. The links, the link component is the atom for me because I might pass different, I might have link uh, with a different style somewhere, a link with a different style. So I made it a component and just pass type. So this is just a nav bar. I'm not going to show you every components because that would be really tiring and boring. So this is how, this is why Vue because I have everything here. And I have atomic design methodology implemented. So to sum up, I'm almost nearing the end. To sum up, we broke down the page design components visually. And then we structured the folder to follow the atomic design pattern. That's what we want. And then we started building the components from the atoms to the organisms. That's, that's the easiest way of doing that. So these are interesting resources that I'll, I'll share you the URL of the slides. You can just click through the link and go through that and last but not the least about uh, according to Brad Frost the web the application doesn't consist of a lot of pay, web pages not a web page consists of a lot of components everything is a component for him everything and we are not designing pages anymore we are designing a system of components that's what he defined and that's why he had this pattern this methodology followed there are a lot of better methodologies as well but why i suggested this one was it was simple to start with and build good ui so that's pretty much it thank you so much any questions yeah sorry Okay, okay. But I guess the only problem is passing the props, passing the functions, callbacks. Okay. It's a form, it's a new file. You're passing it to the different. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, we should explore a lot in that because I never really tried that. I have to try it. Okay. Correct. Animations can be in atoms because animation, typography, the color, these abstract elements comes under the atoms. They can be called a cat. That was a good catch. But that was a that you can I mean yeah it's it's in the atom. Yeah it's it's, it's with the atom only. Yeah. Yeah.
still looking at it. Thank you. Thank you so much.